Hello, my name is David Almalki, and I want to talk to you today about replacing the battery for the VL70M, which is, I believe, is the same as the AN1X. Now, we've been told it's a standard CR2450 battery, but it's not. If you look closely at the uh, picture, you could see a small letter Y at the end, and that makes a whole difference. Uh, have a look at the comparison between the uh, genuine one on the left and the normal standard battery 2450. The one on the left is divided into section. The negative side is um, narrower or smaller than the bottom positive side, while the normal battery is just uh, all one thickness. Now remove the power and flip the unit upside down, as you can see here. And you find few screws at the back. These ones here, we're not going to touch them. They only attach to the uh, plate. We're going to remove those four screws to start with. Now, I wouldn't mix those screws together. I will separate them because uh, they are different. The one I'm removing now different than the one in the front, and also different to the one in the back, which we're going to remove a bit later. At the back of the unit, we have uh, two types of screws as well. Uh, make sure you separate those two. They have to thread all together. Now the back cover should slide backward uh, put a tiny bit of pressure uh, on it and slide it backward and it should come out easily. There is another battery made by Renata uh, but instead of a Y, there is a letter N at the end, CR2450N. Now it looks the same, but it will not fit all the way down. It doesn't go under the clip. Um, if you try to fit it, it will sit diagonal and the clip will stay on the side of it. It will sit like that, have a look. That's how the, the Renata will sit it will never go in and when you try to take it out oh my god I had to use a screwdriver to remove it look at this one here this is the the negative side is smaller than the Renata the one I found uh, from every battery Penrith here in Australia uh, it's called Ensman or something like that uh, uh, it's a German brand I think uh, it fits nicely beautiful just look at it it's a very similar shape and then just listen to that sound of click it's the music to my ear really now putting the unit back is very simple really uh, the same way it came out it goes in you just make sure those two little two corners goes under the uh, metal and you slide it in and put all the screws the way they you took them out now I have to mention this, I had hard times trying to find a replacement battery for this unit. I contacted Yamaha, uh, they tried to help me, I contacted every store and I couldn't find any replacement. Uh, at the end I went to every battery in Penrith, uh, the guys were really helpful and they took their time searching uh, for a battery for me. We tried the Renata N, we tried the 2430 and at the end he told me uh, try this it looks very similar to your battery we tried it and it fits nicely as you could see now if you really guys found another battery please leave a uh, note in the comment we would like to know what's your story did you find one and what is it now the question is did i lose my internal memory thank god i didn't um, but i did replacement uh, fairly quickly because some uh, units give you 10 seconds to replace the battery, some 30 seconds. I'm not sure how this one operates, but I can guarantee you with the time limit I did it, I did not lose anything. All my memories 
my internal uh, preset are still intact nothing was lost guys thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoy this video and i hope it is helpful to you